And as soon as it started turning on him, I said, man, drop it. He drops it. As soon as he drops it, it jumps at him. When's the last time you looked a deadly snake in the eyes just before it lunges at your face? One of the winners of the Florida Python Challenge is sharing some of the crazy stories from the hunt with Four in Your Corners' Colleen Hogan. Yeah, wait till you hear how that guy describes how they plucked the prize-winning monster from the mud. And all Florida Fish and Wildlife officials say more than 1,600 hunters signed up, bringing in just 68 snakes after the month-long hunt wrapped up yesterday. And, you know, we do want to warn you, some of the pictures you're about to see are graphic. I'm a complete rookie. I don't know anything about snakes. Don't let the pictures fool you. Paul Shannon says he and his buddy Brian Barrows joined the hunt for fun after his dad encouraged him to sign up. And he said, man, you guys got to get in on the ground floor of this. Kind of, it's only 25 bucks. At least sign up, get a hot dog and a t-shirt. They ended up with much more. In it to win it. Heading into the Everglades six times during the month-long hunt. But for a couple of rookie boys from Fort Myers to, uh, stumble across so many snakes it's kind of kind of weird did you see something every time you went out basically every time every time we usually we, we usually come back with two sometimes it was just the two of them i didn't see anybody out there sometimes a group of guys went out bagging seven snakes in all enough to win first place for most snakes and they also took first place for the longest snake i measured it at 14 feet 10 inches but it it went in at 14.3 i guess we all know what happens to things when they get a little cold. Paul says they'd jump in the airboat looking for islands with dry trees. That's when they'd hop out into their waders into water waist deep, scouring for snakes. They found most of them basking in the sun, but one was in a tree, another in the water. And the big guy, he was running under the mud. And my buddy Jake Carner, he, he ended up jumping in there, grabbing it, pulling it out telling me that it was turning on him, it was turning on him. He drops it, as soon as he drops it, it jumps at him. He has to dive in the trees, it snaps right in his face. And it's got, it's this big around, it's gotta be 24, 30 inches of girth. It's massive. And for it to coil right before it strikes, it has a four foot coil going four feet, three feet, two feet, and then one foot with a head size of my hand. Paul says his first shot just ricocheted off the snake, so he reloaded, popped the snake twice in the head and hauled him in. What goes through your mind at a moment like that? After I uh, messed myself, uh, it's, it's freaking out. It was intense. FWC held the contest to cut down on the non-native snakes. Some estimate there's more than 100,000 of them in the Everglades. The non-native snake has no predators and destroys the ecosystem by eating up pretty much everything in sight. So, Kelly, what do you think? You getting in on the hunt next year? No, no, no. Um, I'm just going to wait <laughs> until your report on it next year, for sure.